Have you ever wondered where plants come from? It all starts with a seed, like this one. This is a pumpkin seed. Seeds are amazing. It's hard to imagine that this tiny seed will grow into a huge pumpkin plant. Inside this tiny seed is all the food the seed needs to grow. But a seed is just a seed until it's planted in the ground. It needs plenty of sunshine and water. And then something wonderful happens. It grows and grows into a pumpkin vine that flowers and grows new pumpkins. And it starts all over again. From pumpkin seed to leafy vine. Pumpkins grow in the summertime. Worms do lots of hard work in my garden under the soil. I can tell when the soil is healthy because when I dig it up, there are lots of worms in it. They live in the dark. They don't even have eyes. I guess they don't really need them down there. They wiggle underground, eating and making little tunnels as they go. In the dirt are tiny bits of worm food. Worms eat lots and poo lots. And the worm poo helps my garden grow. The more food I can feed my worms, the more food I can grow in my garden. The more food I can grow in my garden, the more food I can feed my worms. It's a cycle and it goes round and round. Worms can eat and eat and eat, then feed my beans and silver beet. This is compost. The more rotten it looks, the better it is. Plants like compost added to the soil around them. It gives them the food that they need to grow. Just like people, different plants like different things. When it comes to giant pumpkins, this is my secret ingredient. Seaweed! Seaweed comes from the sea. And it contains all of the food that pumpkins need to grow big. Really big. One thing you need to do before you use seaweed as compost is give it a good rinse in fresh water. <laughs> seaweed is really salty and pumpkins don't like salt. <laughs> The secret ingredient that I need for giant pumpkins is seaweed. Chickens don't just eat food, they help grow it here in Dirt Girl World. How? Well, believe it or not, it's because of their poo. I always wear gloves and use a shovel when working with poo. You should never touch this stuff with your bare hands. Yep. I have mixed chicken poo with water, left it to brew, and there you go. Chicken poo brew. I can sprinkle it on my garden. It helps my plants to grow. Gardeners, farmers and green thumbs also use sheep poo or cow poo or horse poo to fertilise the garden. But you should never use people poo. So. Whatever food goes in the chickens returns to the garden as a kind of fertiliser. It's a fully feathered circle of life. Chicken poo, when gently brewed, helps my garden grow more food. I'm making a body for the hay lady. I get two sticks like these, tie them together nice and tight. You don't want the arms falling off. That would be alarming. <laughs> Scarecrows are great to have around. Hayman guards my garden and scares away the birds so they don't eat my seeds or my food. But that's not all he does. He's very reliable. I can keep things in his pocket and you always know where to find him. And the best thing is, he always, always, always knows how to keep a secret. And now all we need is a head for Hay Lady. Ah, oh, I think I'm going to like having you around. To keep the birds away, make a friend made from hay. Beautiful Hay Lady. 
plants begin their life as a seed, each plant has its own different seed. Some seeds are big and some are small, but all seeds contain everything a new plant needs to begin its life. They even know when to germinate. That's the word for when a seed starts to grow. Amazing! My seed collection contains all sorts of seeds. Some will grow into my favourite flowers and some will grow into vegetables to eat. Some will even grow into big fruit trees. When it's time for a seed to grow, it has to have the right conditions to start. I just pop the little seeds into the dirt, add some water and some sunshine and wait. Some seeds can take a little while to germinate and some start growing quickly. You never know exactly when. It's always a surprise. Soil, sun and water. Then a little wait helps my seeds to germinate. This is my plant nursery. I like to call it my kinder garden. It's where all the smallest plants are carefully grown before they are planted in the dirt. Some seeds can be planted straight into the dirt, but some plants, like trees, need to be given special care and attention when they are little so they can grow big and strong later. So I keep them in the plant nursery so I can keep an eye on them. Right, guys? <laughs> you kids are crazy! <laughs> it can take a while for a tree to grow, but it is so worth it. They are so important. They give us shade and food to eat and they are homes for lots of animals. Did you know that without trees, we wouldn't even be able to breathe? That's because trees breathe in what we breathe out and then we breathe in what trees breathe out. Now that's pretty important if you ask me. <laughs> food and shade and nice clean air. I think there should be more trees everywhere. These are tools. Tools are cool. We use tools to help us do work. They make doing jobs easier. Different tools are used for different things. These tools are used to fix things when they break and other tools are used to make new things. These are gardening tools. I use them in the garden to help me dig and turn the soil. This is a spade and this is a gardening fork and together they help me dig a new garden bed. Some tools are big and some tools are small. A pair of scissors is a tool and so is a wheelbarrow. I love looking after my tools. I pop them away when I finish playing with them and I put them inside when it rains. Tools are different but all the same. To make work easy is their game. I'm making chicken poo brew. Well, that's what I like to call it. I just finished cleaning out my hen house and putting fresh hay in the nesting boxes. This drum is nearly full, full of old hay and chicken poo. Chicken poo brew is the food I like to give my garden. It's food for plants, not for people. Now I am adding water to the mix. I'm filling this drum up until everything inside is soaking wet. It takes a lot of water to fill this drum up. I have two tools that I use to make chicken poo brew. I use this big stick to mix it all together and I use this peg if it gets too smelly. It takes lots of time to make a good brew. Lots of mixing and lots of waiting. Here's the most important bit. This is what I put on top of the drum when the mix is ready to brew. It's called a lid. <laughs> chickens do what chickens do. Mix it up and let it brew. I'm on slug watch. I know slugs do an important job. Slugs rot things like wood, breaking them down and turning them into soil. But when slugs eat the lettuces, slugs turn into pests. Big problem. So what to do about pests? I like to shoo the pests away from the garden naturally. Making barriers or spraying the plants with natural sprays, like onion water, makes the plants taste yucky to the pests. And off they go. 
Well, maybe I could give the slugs their own lettuce so they stop eating mine. <clears throat> Attention all slugs. Church girl speaking. As of now, this lettuce here is yours. And all these lettuces here are not yours. So you eat your lettuce and please stop eating mine. Thanks. I think I need more batteries. Owls are the only birds I see flying around at night. Mm -hmm.